Good afternoon, everybody. We are back, and, uh, well, it doesn't show me the, it's what the temperature is right now, so nobody knows. We got Dark Bro F I R S T first in the chat, baby. What's going on, Richo? How you doing, Dark Bro Richo? Dark Bro Richo? Dark Bro Richo? We got Frank Pudgy, Dark Bro Richo, Frank. Uh, no, Frank, not again, not again, not again. Richo, Dark Bro Richo, Richo, Dark Bro Richo, Tim, Richo, Richo, Dark Bro, Sky Stonify, Richo, Richo, Tim, Dark Bro Rich, Meta Pockets, Rich, Dark Bro, Meta Pockets, Dark Bro, Rich, J Bones, we've got Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Meta Pockets, Rich, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Rich, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Nick F, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Rich, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Nick F, Dopey, we've got Kristen, forgot my cup, Pudgy, Pudgy, Kristen, Rich, Dark Bro, Kristen, AMC Trapper, Old Rounder, Dark Bro, Ronald, and Pudgy, oh my gosh, what's going on, everybody, hopefully you guys are having a good day, what's up, Clay Bro fam, had to check on Clay Bro, make sure he's okay in Ohio, as of right now, man, the dark and ominous cloud has not covered my house. We uh, we seem to be doing okay here. Birds were actually chirping, not falling out of the trees. And I have not seen the little rabbit that lives over in the mulch bed right there. But hopefully I see him pretty soon, and, and he's okay too. So yes, right now I'm okay. Uh, if, if, if we start to get some like black clouds that come over the house here, I I'm gonna be going underground. Patrick, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Patrick says, Congrats, Dark Bro, on being first. Good luck to you with a new job. Time to celebrate. Oh, yes. You take that dog and you shove it, dip it, and then you shove it. You take that banana, ooh, you lick it, and you stick it. And then you got a little authorized hydration right there. Congratulations, Dark Bro, and congratulations on the Super Chat. Pat, man, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. What, Pudgy? Who said that? Something? Don't know. Uh, let's see. That's crazy stuff out there in Ohio. Kristen, it's actually very crazy stuff. I have not seen it myself. I've only seen pictures on the internet. But it is wild, okay, that it is literally like the same exact plot that all of those people were extras. A very small, very small town, right? I think there's like 4,000 people that live there, and and they shot a movie over there a couple of years ago or last year or something, this white noise movie that's on Netflix right now. They shot a movie where a train derails, huge chemical spill, and then all of the people that live there have to evacuate and crap like that, and that is literally what's happening right now. Yeah, it's bizarre, dude. It's bizarre. Let's see what the market's got going on. Get in the gopher hole. Yeah, dude, I'm going to be jumping down that rabbit hole right, right along with those rabbits, man. Float around and find out. <laughs> now that I like. That would actually be a pretty nice shirt, dude. Float around and find out. AMC, $4.68 close today, down $4.49. Shiba Inu coin sitting at $12.35. GameStop, coming down a little bit after hours right now, $19.25. Bitcoin sitting at $21,655.97. Right around this support resistance level at $21,600. Maintaining this as support at the moment, so hopefully it continues to go above it. NASDAQ, finishing basically where it spent most of the day, up 1.48% today. Bior Therapeutics, $3. $3.17. Had a pretty tough day today, down 8.76%. Ethereum, down a percent and a half. Shiba, down three and a half. Dogecoin, down a half. Bitcoin, down a half. Sundial, closing the day at 203, down a half a percent. Mullen Auto, 37.79 cents. CEI sitting at $1.84. It's coming down pretty big from where it was at like 220, 230 a couple days ago. 248 last week. Back to, man, you know, you know that stock is low when the graph looks like that, man. Jeez. That's a daily graph on CEI. Look at this. The daily graph on CEI, just going back to August, 20 bucks, losing 90% of its value. 20 bucks. Down to, to like two bucks right now, less than two bucks. And if you go back to, gosh, $100 down to $2 since March of last year, CEI has been de destroyed. My goodness. 
Spy doesn't look too bad. Spy actually looking pretty good today, man. Spy bouncing off that, that support line nicely and going back up. This is what I like to see. We do have inflation numbers coming out tomorrow morning, though, guys. CPI is going to be released here in the United States tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m. Definitely going to be affecting the markets, hopefully to the upside. Hopefully they give us some good news and, and we don't not get a, a big decline or anything. But uh, CPI tomorrow morning, 8.30 Lost my, yeah, AMC Trapper, dude, it is, I didn't realize it was down for $100 last March or whatever to $1.87 a share right now. That is a major, major decline. Well, that's 99, that's almost 99%. If it reaches a dollar, man, that's 99% loss. That is ridiculous. I really miss those crypto gains we had in January. I hope Bitcoin bounces here soon. Old rounder, bro, I do too. I miss them already, and it's only been like a week of, of bad information. So hopefully the, the CPI report tomorrow is good news. Let's see if we can pull up the expectations and see what they're, what they're thinking here. So if we go out to Google, good old Google. Ah, uh, no, we need to refresh this. Because Powell and Biden are not talking tomorrow. All right, so let's see here. Tomorrow morning, CPI, the Consumer Price Index, coming out at 8.30 a.m. Let's see. So, the inflation rate. Uh, they're expecting a decent decline in the inflation rate, guys. Going from 6.5% to 6.2%. So this 6.2% could already be and probably is already priced into the market. What we need to see is either a hit of 6.2% or lower. Even if we go 6.3, 6.4, or I don't want to say 6.5. So if we come in lower than 6.5, it's good news. If it's between 6.2 and 6.5, ah, we actually probably could go down one should assume that these this analyst consensus is is already priced in. So I'm gonna hope for 6.1 percent or better on CPI. If we get that out tomorrow, I, I believe that we're gonna see a nice uptick, and we could even break through resistance levels on on the Nasdaq here. Let's go on the daily. We could even break through resistance levels on the NASDAQ going up more than 2-3% tomorrow. That would be a nice gain. Obviously, it's an optimistic gain. But we're going to have to have some good information coming out in terms of CPI tomorrow, which obviously analysts are expecting good news because they're expecting a 6.2% uh, inflation rate as opposed to the 6.5% that we had last time. My boy, the fat electrician, has it in his merch store. Well, there you go, man. That's what I'm talking about. I, I knew it'd be a good shirt. Float around and find out. Ah, math. People never considered a bull put spread with a $50 collateral earning three cents is a 6% gain potentially weekly. Frank. 6% gain weekly is... You can't beat that, man. 6% weekly, you are most likely going to... more than quintuple your money on the year. 6% weekly would be insane, man. Dude, if you could do that, go for it. Come back down. Start eating then. It'll come back. Uh, <laughs> you're talking to AMC Trapper J Bones. Ah, I see what you're doing. Hopefully the price of eggs wasn't part of this CPI analysis. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to be wrong because the price of eggs is still inflated right now and probably going to get worse. Guys, I am slightly wondering if you guys are all sleeping or if the 60 of you that are in here, the chat is not working. So let me know if you guys are currently sleeping or if Streamlabs or YouTube here is not working on the chat because I find it very difficult to believe not a single person is saying anything right now. Um... I don't want you to be sleeping, but you could be. Seems like you might be sleeping. Ah, JB. All right. Now nah, it makes sense. Yeah, you guys are sleeping. That's what it was. Dude, I got to figure out what's going on. Why my hair keeps falling down back there. We got to 
I'm gonna get that fixed. My hair should not be falling down like that. The hair needs to go forward, not backwards. Wild. Sorry, double tasking. It's having on a cyber report. Richo, it's all right, man. I'm just glad to see. I, I honestly, I just wanted to see if the chat was working or not. So I asked you guys if you were sleeping, knowing that it would kind of uh, force you into into telling me that you weren't sleeping. So good to see that you guys are paying attention. You just don't want to talk to me today. Ah, uh, let's see. Steven is sleeping. Nah, we napping, bro. Dark, bro. I figured you were. Lyman Dave is the only one that is not sleeping. Oh, Metapockets is also not sleeping. Sky Stonify chipping over. Dude, Sky Stonify, you better be careful. You work with some crazy machinery to be typing on a phone with. What is a good buy today? You know what, franchise? I don't know if anything is necessarily a good buy today. You know, beating down in price pretty heavy and then expected to bounce back up. But um, the inflation report tomorrow could make everything a good buy. If, if if we get a good news report tomorrow, 6.1% or lower, honestly, 6.2% is not going to be bad. But if CPI comes in 6.1%, I'm going to be optimistic or lower, then everything is going to be looking like a good buy. I would imagine that we continue to see gains if that's the case. If inflation is continuing to decline, people are going to be happy about that. Test and test and one, two, three. Old rounder looking good. No, Clay, bro. You're the one sleeping. This is a dream from the future. Oh, boy. That could be possible. If that's possible, I don't like these prices. I want these prices to go up in the future. And from what I remember, these look just like they did yesterday. Yes, Clay. Tomorrow, when you wake up, Shivarium, baby. Oh, yes. I should I should do it like some sort of a giveaway if Shivarium is actually released tomorrow. Maybe I'll tell Shitoshi I'll, I'll give him like a $1,000 giveaway if he releases Shivarium tomorrow. He still won't do it. He still won't do it. Uh, I have Shib, but as a holder, I feel like I'm being played around with. Shitoshi's just jerking us around. Yeah, turtleneck sweater. I, I feel like that's not the overwhelming sentiment. But people are starting to lean that direction. And once the majority of people start leaning that direction, it's going to be bad. Guys, very strange. When I asked if everybody was sleeping, there were 60 people in here. Half of you guys have left. Something weird's going on. Uh, yeah, if there's no update about Shibarium tomorrow, I'm going to be a little ticked up. See, Steven, I think that everybody's kind of feeling that way. I feel that way too, and I like what you said. Okay, an update. If, if we don't get an update about Shivarian tomorrow, even an update that says, oops, sorry about my box and a box and a bow poem, um, Shivarian is not going to be released today. That's an update. That's an update. That's a little bit of clarity. I, I would like something like that. I believe it would go a long way. So yeah, I also want some form, some form of an update tomorrow. The Eagles have a better chance of winning the Super Bowl yesterday. And Shabarium coming out tomorrow, just saying. <laughs> oh, God. Dang, Pudgy, you're not giving it much of a chance. You're not giving it much of a chance for, for Shabarium tomorrow. It's not getting released tomorrow. Yeah, football, I, I don't think it is either, man, but... We sh they should give us some sort of, some form of an update. Uh, when are we going to meet our new alien friends? Ooh, AMC Trapper. I got the perfect answer for you. Soon. <laughs> oh god. Soon, man. Soon. Moas soon, Shibarium soon, Aliens soon. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a good one. Then she would do a dollar on Wednesday. Boom, Dark Bro, I'll take it. We figure out who Shitoshi is. Vital ah, no, I've not figured out who Shitoshi is, man. So, Clay Bro, how bad is Shibin a pop tomorrow when Shibarium does launch? Ooh, when Shibarium does launch or when Shibarium, when Shibarium doesn't launch? Tim. If Shibarium comes out tomorrow, I believe that Shiba Inu coin is going to see a nice spike up. And then, yes, a spike back down. If Shibarium is not launched tomorrow, I believe the people that will be disappointed are going to be far outnumbered by the people who have this 
We love Shitoshi. We follow Shitoshi. Anything Shitoshi says is law. I feel like they those people will far outnumber the ones that are going to be disappointed. And at most, we just see a, a little blip down tomorrow that isn't going to be terribly concerning. Eight ball. Ooh, this is a good eight ball question, Tim. This is a good one. This is the end all be all right here, guys. The end all be all. Eight ball. Is Shibarium tomorrow? Well, I believe we have an optimistic eight ball here. Is Shibarium tomorrow? You guys can see that. Most. Likely. <laughs> Shibarium tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Most likely. Now, this is an optimistic eight ball. Very nice. Tim, man, it is it is set in stone now. Well, at least it's set in an eight ball. Shibarium is most likely tomorrow. So, in the off chance that Shibarium is not released, it's going to be a fluke. It's going to be a fluke, man. Why is the eight ball so beat? Actually, I have no idea why the eight balls look so beat up. I think it is just dust. Let's see. I think it's just dust because there's not even really any scratches or anything on this eight ball. Let's see. Wow, Mr. Brian, go put your own windows in, dude. Yeah, that was just dust, man. Eight ball is not beat up at all. So, like, look. It looks a lot better, right? Looks a lot better. It was just dust. Still can't. Still can't see an answer there, but that does look a lot better. Hey, that was dust, man. Uh, hey, bros. Sorry I'm late. Had to brush one of my cats. She was really mad. Well, good thing you did, Dial-Up Survivor. Your cat thanks you for it. Tim, thank you very much for the Super Chat. Tim says, I got a flute scam Toshi can play. I got a flute that scam Toshi can play too, but I've never let anybody else play my flute. I'm the only one that's ever played my flute, so I'm going to say no. Scam Toshi cannot play my, my flute. Only I will be playing my flute there. I'm telling you, though. Thirty-seven thousand dollars, Mister Mister Brian. How many windows you got? That's kind of crazy. Who's a boss? Chinese spy balloon. It is not a Chinese spy balloon. Sky is sky stone a five man. It is a legitimate eight ball with legitimate answers. Hey Clay, do you watch a new show called The Last of Us? I do not. Nope, I do not. Uh, it just reminded me. I need to get a new dog brush. <laughs> What's going on? I love. There you go, Rich. Up, my friend was quoted ninety-six thousand dollars. Ninety six thousand what, man? Ninety six thousand dimes F for a roof? Not ninety six thousand dollars, man. What, what size house does your friend have? Like a forty thousand square foot mansion? That's gotta be. Mr. Brian, I do say that with confidence, dude. I put the windows here. Not all of the windows, but the back of the house. Put all those windows in. You can easily put a window in, man. You can easily put a window in. I'm not even saying, like, I'm not even saying that that's a hard thing to do. You can easily put a window in. Uh, and then the window, I actually don't know what windows cost right now, but your standard window is probably going to be, like, 400 bucks. And you can put it in. So I don't know how many windows you got in your house, the thirty-seven thousand dollars is ridiculous, and I'm just guessing on that. I'm I'm inflating that price a little bit from when I bought Windows a few years ago, so I don't know what Windows costs right now. Uh, but you can put Windows in. Don't think that you can't, dude. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Not sleeping, debating like a master. Perfect, Patrick. Perfect. That's all you got to do, man. Keep that master level up. And hydrate like you were authorized. Pat, man, thank you very much for the super chat. So I got a little question. There's some regulation in the works for stable coins, yeah? Kalani, seemingly so, man. Seemingly so. The BUSD is getting looked into right now. 
and, and it seems like the SEC wants to 100% control the cryptocurrency arena. We're going to see how it plays out, dude. Uh, let's see. A dollar. Small house. Hopefully, they did not pay that franchise. I knew Windows put in four years ago. Cost us $15 for 11 Windows. That, my friend, was a dollhouse. Has anybody ever seen what's going on with Shibakin? No, I have not seen Shibakin. Uh, what do you think of what Shitoshi is hinting at with a period on his bio? So, Steven, man, I think that that just, to me, nothing. I think the guy... Let me put it this way, okay? Shitoshi does seem like a very eccentric person and a very confident person in, in what he wants to have happen. I truly believe that Shitoshi thinks that he is going to be able to use the Shiba Inu coin community for some form of like world domination or, or worldwide revolution. Uh, I love optimistic people, but here's my thing, okay? If you're looking at personalities and you're looking at strengths, I have... I've done the whatever personality, whatever strengths test that is. Futuristic, strategic, maximizer, achiever, and relater. Those are my five top strengths. Um, when I see somebody kind of like have this vision, like Shitoshi does, where he's going to revolutionize the world, but doesn't necessarily, right? point everybody else on the same path and doesn't necessarily lay out the direction that's going to be taken uh just seems like a dream to me and world domination is a great dream like i get it it's, there's nothing above that um but i would just imagine the period means it is finished it is done it is the end so therefore, Shibarium should be done. That is a logical viewpoint of what the period means. Now, the, the skeptic in me thinks that well, maybe this guy doesn't actually have a vision of how to get to this world domination, and he's a little bit narcissistic. So he's constantly throwing out different forms of, of riddles, different things that are not very clarifying so that people continue to look to him and people continue to kind of rely upon him for the next stages and for answers. And and that's a kind of a negative approach, right? That's a, a skeptical approach to what that period might mean. Um, but that's kind of the ways that I look at it. Logically, it means Shibarium is done. It's the end of the sentence. It's the end of, of the period. Uh, skeptically, it means the guy's kind of narcissistic and, and needs people to desire the next step and, and desire the next, you know, kind of question or, or, or point from him. Yeah, that's just kind of what the way I put it. 15K. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, 15K. Listen, 15K, that, that, that's expensive. That's a, that's a lot of labor for for windows it's a lot of labor for windows i'm telling you that right now i'm gonna be honest with you so when you take a window like when you put a new window in you got to take the trim off your you got to take the trim off around the window which is not hard to do right you can take the trim off the window and then from there man it's just a couple screws and you you put a new window in and then you put the trim back up it's that's a very simplified definition of how to put a new window in but you guys can watch window install videos all day long. You take the trim off, which, okay, you maybe you break the trim. Worst case scenario, you break the trim around your window. Okay? So your trim's broken. Now you got to retrim. Let's just assume that you're going to break the trim. What you end up having when the window comes out, unless, of course, it's drywalled in there and you got to re-drywall or retrim it out. But even if you got to bust your drywall out a little bit, worst case scenario... Pop that window out. You put a new replacement window in. Simply screws into the studs that are on each side of the window there. And you're good to go. So maybe it's not perfectly even. You got to shim it out a little bit and, and get it level. Good to go. Once you're shimmed out, you screw it into the studs on each side of the window. Couple, couple screws and you're good. Now, 
let's say it kind of looks like your your house is broken a little bit. You got a little gap here, a little gap there. You simply insulate around your window and then retrim it out, and you're good to go. Uh, thousand bucks to put in a window is that's expensive, man. It really is. It's, I mean, it's not that easy if you literally have no confidence in yourself to do it. Like, don't go, don't go attempt it. But I mean, watch a video on how to install a window. It's it's not that bad. Like, if you can replace a battery in your car, you can replace a window in your house. You're just gonna have a hole in your house until you put the new window in. There's no going back when you decide to replace your window because you got to get a window in, or you're gonna have a hole in your house. Tim's top five strengths: honest, mean, brutal, fast, and mechanically inclined. Honesty may be on that thing. I don't know if it is or not, but <laughs> those are not top five strengths. Those are not five strengths on that strengths test, man. Those are not on there. <laughs> J Bones, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Congrats to Moji on his whole enough. Dude, I saw. Is Moji in here right now? Moji, man. I saw that come across the Discord. Is that your first hole in one in your whole life? Like, how do you get a hole in one on anything other than putt putt golf? Dead serious. I'll drink to it, man. That is wild. Yes, congratulations to Moji hitting a hole in one. Absolutely crazy. Can we get an ad for the non clickers? Oh, we can get an ad for the non clickers. <laughs> Thank you very much, Moji, for the super chat. And, ooh, YouTube says it's a good time for an ad. I want to know right now, did you get an ad? Let me know if you got one or if you did not get one. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Coming back down here. I paid 15000 for 13 windows last year. Fubal, I still... So that might... Depending on the size of your windows, that might not be as bad, but... Basically, they're more than doubling the cost of, of the windows for labor. So I can guarantee you they're still charging you like 600, 700 bucks labor per window, which is, to me, man, it's just too much. I don't know. It's just too much. I just, I don't like to pay that stuff. Watch a video on how to install a window. You guys are not going to be, oh, what's the word? You're not going to be too intimidated by it. I promise you won't. Clearbro, my goal for the year is to put a bull put spread position that later this year will buy me a 2024 Ford Ranger XLT. Frank, man. Frank, dude. Walk us through that goal when, when you have time, man. Because if, if somebody can see how just generating income with limiting your losses is, is able to pay for a car. And I'm, I'm assuming, right, you're talking about the payment is is what it's going to be uh let us know frank on that because people are going to be extremely impressed when they see that i'll do everything inside but i won't touch doors or windows yeah fubo man and that's there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that right some people they won't touch electric they, that's, no dude i'm not going to risk my house burning down if i do something wrong some people won't touch plumbing they'll say nah forget that man if i got a leak anywhere it's going to ruin everything uh Doors or windows, yeah, you shouldn't be scared of doors or windows, football. You shouldn't be scared of them. Well, that's why I get three quotes waiting for the second quote from the company today. Yeah, Mr. Brian, dude. Dude, go the company route and all that stuff. And then just, I don't know, man. Find a guy that's just willing to put windows in. I, I think that you might get screwed. It's my third. Dude's had three hole-in-ones. Oh, my gosh. All in the same hole or different holes, Moji? Because that is just ridiculous, man. I did, and I liked the live. Well, thank you very up, very much, Dial Up Survivor. Clay, you should get Butterball as a sponsor. Dude, Butterball and Kia, man. Butterball and Kia, let's make it happen. Let's reach out to these guys. Let's spam the crap out of them. You know how many turkeys we could sell during Thanksgiving? <laughs> All of them is the answer. All of them. We could sell all of the turkeys. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet to have a turkey affiliate link? <laughs> oh, gosh, dude. If Butterball gave me, like, a 10% discount code or something for for turkeys around Thanksgiving, and then I posted a, sh a YouTube short just doing a turkey voice and then had my affiliate link down in the description and we sold like 20,000 turkeys shipped directly to these people's houses 
Oh, gosh, dude. 10%, 20% discount. Perfect. Butterball, reach out. Reach out now for Thanksgiving. We'll make it happen. Get us a discount code, 20% discount on the Butterball Turkey. You ship it directly to their house, and, and we will get that video going. Uh, let's see. Thanks, peeps. I'm jacked. Got to buy lunch and drinks, though. <laughs> because you hit that hole in one, right, Mo? You're, you're the guy. Uh, I just got hit with an ad. During this live stream, Mr. Brian. Good. You can thank Moji for that, because Moji requested an ad. And um, I think you're the only one that actually got hit with an ad, so... You're the only guy that got hit. Let's see. I'll, oh, I'll try to do anything. Jack of all, master none. Exactly, Rich. Exactly. You're not gonna screw it up though. Just, just watch a video on it later. It's, it's not that crazy. I need hole in one insurance. Yes, you do need hole in one insurance, man. It's expensive if you hit a hole in one, and then you gotta celebrate with everybody. Different courses, different holes. Dang it, man. Moji hitting a hole in one on three completely different courses and three completely different holes. Mo. Never play, but I went to maybe if I move to Florida. There you go, Dial of Survivor. Yeah, I've actually only played golf maybe maybe like three or four times in my whole life. One, two. Maybe like four or five times in my whole life. And I will tell you, I'm not good. I'm not good. And got a blast. Pudgy, are you leaving, man? Enjoy your day if you're leaving. Ah, uh, Kia is keeping it awesome. Let's drive this turkey home, Butterball. Let's do it, man. You get, my gosh, man. You, Pat just combined Kia and Butterball into one lovely commercial. I get hit with an ad too. I and I liked the life. Well, thank you very much, Dial Up. Appreciate that. Uh, you can't. I, there's no way I can. I, I guess discriminate against those that have not clicked the like button. It, it just gives it to anybody that's in here. I guess. I actually don't know how it picks the people to give an ad because it's re it's really weird sometimes. There's probably only like five of you that got hit with an ad. Hey, I may be in the dark on this one. How does someone have any idea that something like Baby Doge is going to explode like 230% in the last month? You don't. So, Porky Fried... <laughs> I like that. Porky Fried Bryce. I love pork fried rice, man. Uh, any type of fried rice, actually. But anyway... Nobody ever knows that something is going to go up like that. And it, it, as soon as you kind of like try to bring it down to a specific crypto, you do not know. You do not know. You do not know. A couple indicators or a couple things that you can look at that may drive prices higher are major announcements. Okay. Now, I don't think that Baby Doge had any major announcements. I do think that maybe they've been burning some coins or something to keep people excited. But over the last month, a 230% increase has actually been beaten by a lot of coins. Because if you look at January, okay, this is Bitcoin in January. It was a very nice run. It wasn't no 230% increase, but it was a very nice run. And because of that, everything has kind of gone up very nice. Now, if you look at coins like Gala, I think Gala's in here. If you look at coins like Gala, since the beginning of the month, Gala went from a cent and a half to six and a half cents. Gala actually performed better than Baby Doge did. If you look at some of the AI coins out there, Fetch and, and so on, those coins performed better than Baby Doge did. So, you know, the overall market running since the beginning of, of January here, it leads other coins to gain as well. So the altcoins can outperform major players like Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's one thing that you can look at is if the overall market is performing very well, the smaller coins could perform very well. The next thing that you want to look at is, um, you know, individual news. And if you've got great individual news for a, a coin like Baby Doge, then of course baby doge could run higher but you're never going to you're never just going to know all these gurus out there all these kids that tell you they posted it in their discord they don't have any information that you don't and and maybe they took a $5 position in it and and now they have $15 so don't don't like think that they know something you don't
No, Kalani, I have not, but I have not made fried rice yet, and I, I actively think about that, not every day, but I do actively think about that uh, when I'm thinking about fried rice. So it is something that I am going to try. I've just not tried it yet. I haven't made fried rice yet. Moji! 15 months of bro, baby. Dilly dilly. Happy to be a part of the clay, bro. Brothers and sisterhood. I love it. Moji, man. You have no idea how glad we are to have you in here, man, as a bro loving it. 15 months. Nice. Moji, man. Uh, Burhan, you lost 800 because of you. Something. Burhan, man. Is Burhan losing money? I hope not. Burhan's down 800. That's terrible. John J. Boom. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, baby. Thank you very much for the fist bump, John Jay. Absolutely appreciate that, dude. Congrats to Mo, bro. Heck yeah, from Mo G. Oh, yes, it's a fist bump to Mo G. I like it, John Jay. Uh, Al from Boston just dropped some science. This dude's still around. Uh, with a conflict of interest with Adam Aaron and Tara and Morgan Stanley with AMC. Uh, G Money. Yeah, dude, look, there's a, listen, I, I, I have not been very vocal on the entire situation, but I really am not an advocate of any delusion, and that seems to be the way that the apes want to go, is, is down the delusion path. So, it, to me, man, it seems like the apes are 100% in support of Adam Aaron now, so, therefore, 100% in support of AMC improving its balance sheet as opposed to, you know, holding your shares and, and causing some sort of a, a short squeeze. So, I, I didn't see the video that he posted, man, but it, it does seem like they're in support of that. Dial up. Be good. Be safe. Be happy. Dial up. You leaving? Gotta get ready for my appointment, y'all. TTYL. Dear dial up. Enjoy your appointment to whatever it's for, and hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Clay, think of me when he thinks of fried rice. I'm honored. No, Kalani. I'm going to... Listen, man. Don't be so honored. <laughs> I did... I'm not... I'm not going to associate you with fried rice the rest of my life. But I did think... I did think to myself... Okay, Kalani said the egg. But it has since then just become the egg. So I'm going to... It's going to be the technique. And then maybe if it's great... You know, maybe I put a picture of you up in my above the fireplace or something and uh, recognize you that way but I'm not thinking about you every time I go in the kitchen and think about fried rice I can't do it man I just can't do it let's see later dial up I guess even knowing about these coins you just see a random top mover one day you've never heard of and you're like WTF thank you for the explanation oh yeah pork fried rice man uh it, that is true and usually those major movers that you've never heard of like that they have a, a lower market cap, and, and a lower market cap means that they're more easily, I guess, manipulated in price. So don't ever feel bad if you're looking at a, a coin that had like an $80,000 market cap, and now it's got a million dollar market cap, and it's up 5, 6x in, in price over the last 24 hours. Uh, let's see. Are you aware that Binance holds 70% of the total Lunk supply? Uh, so smushy. I, I don't know. I didn't know exactly what percentage it was, but I know it's a great percentage. Now, I want, I want to make sure that you're aware that that doesn't mean that Binance owns 70% of the ter total Terra Luna Classic supply. What that means is that Binance, right, is in custody of 70%. When you hold on the Binance platform, it's a loan to the Binance platform, and it shows up as a you know a, on the Binance balance sheet essentially. So that still means that people who use Binance own those coins, but it's in Binance's custody. So I, I just want to make sure we're both on the same page. I didn't know the exact percentage, but I want to make sure that you know it's not you know CZ and, and Binance that actually own those coins. Click, 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 click. Have you seen them? Dark Bro knows the answer. Oh, what? I don't think so. Clay Bro, I can maybe put something together on a vehicle buying position. Frank, dude, if it's a lot of work, man, don't do it. I, I just, I, I know stuff like that showing people that you don't need to make uh, 10 grand a month to, to really do something that if you can conservatively generate income, you can literally pay your bills. So 
People like that kind of stuff. They, they like to be inspired by that. So if you can, great. If not, dude, no, no problem. You know what else is good other than fried rice? Ramen. Dude, it's all good, and I'm hungry right now, so you guys are not helping me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still thinking about me? Feelings mutual. Nice, Kalani. How about spam and max out? Nope, how about not? Uh, how about no, Pat? How about no? Clay, you know what is crazy? I've had Shiba since May 8th, 2021, and it's cheaper now than when I bought then, and I have 10 grand in Shiba. Ugh, I'm losing Giovanni. You know what's good, though? I really do anticipate Shiba Inu coins price going higher than than where it is. So I, I still think that we're okay. Tim Bro Brooks. Brooks got a membership from Tim. Tim, thank you very much for that membership. And Brooks, if you're in the chat right now, please throw a thank you out to Tim. Everybody else, though, please say thanks to Tim because I don't know if Brooks is in here. I've not seen that name yet. Uh, I know a coin that will go up 50 million percent. I'll be sure to let you know once I'm all in. Old rounder. Nice. Nice. Um, could, please, could, could you please let me know after or before you're all in? Because I would like to get in as well if this coin's going to go up 50 million percent. Keep the name green. Yes, Brooks, do it. But I don't know where Brooks is. Brooks, are you in here? Uh, total box office intake this weekend was only $30 million. Oh, gee, many Christmas. That is low. AMC will go bankrupt with these kinds of revenue. Yeah, uh, that I agree with, man. I did not. I did not realize that the box office was only thirty million dollars. That's total box office for this week, dude. That is lame, man. But it, it is Binance's own coins. They received three point fourteen trillion coins when the blockchain halted. So it's not users' coins. Ah, so smushy, man. Smushy. I, I don't know. If that's true, uh, listen, I, I don't know for 100% sure that that's not true. But I am extremely skeptical of, of that being true. Uh, I, I'm i skeptical of that, man. I think that that is... I think that's Terra Luna Classic that's traded on Binance. But I can't tell you for sure. Glad you're feeling better, Clay. I believe you can fly. I believe you can fly. I believe you can touch the sky high. Moji, I think about it every night and day. I. my wings and fly away <laughs> oh moji man thank you very much for the super chat oh gosh i can't fly i feel good man i feel good after that you know when you can't really see straight because you exhale for a really long time well, Moji is thanked for that right now. Moji, man, really appreciate it. Golly, bum, I love it. Uh, Chris, I'll try to get that in a second. First, I got to say the Italian R. Kelly. All right, Clay, bro, let's get it. AMC Trapper. AMC Trapper, you know you liked it, man. Patrick, we need your... Thank you. I almost said, Patrick, we need your wet wet. That was going to be weird. Need to wet your whistle after all that flying. Pat, that I do, man. That was good. That was very good. Pat, man, thank you very much. Moji, thank you very much. AMC Trapper, you're welcome for the performance. And thank you very much. Let's see. There's research who investigated the wallets, Binance secretly staked with all nodes. Dang it, man. Well, Smushy, uh, I have not seen it. Technically, if you know, if it all if it all makes sense, dude, I'll believe it. But I just haven't seen it, so it, it seems like you know it's it's hard to believe. But dude, anything anything is possible these days. I'm telling you, dedication to that. That's what I assume is flying was impeccable. 
Porky fried rice. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, your assumption is correct, man. I'm surprised that you might have to assume that. It was definitely flying. Well, the game C is done. Movies are coming out with Netflix, HBO Max, etc. People don't want to leave their house like the... Ah, Giovanni, man. I, I don't know if that's necessarily true or not. I have not been in the movies in a very long time. Um, I don't think that they're necessarily done. But I do think that, that it's getting a little bit more difficult to, to kind of go to the movies. And what I mean by that is, dude, when you start seeing, like, the lowest level movie tickets being over $10, when popcorn's $10, dude, to go on a date all of a sudden just for the movie and popcorn, add in drinks, you're like 45 bucks, man. You're like 45 bucks. It, that to me just that does seem a little expensive because then you're adding on dinner which is gonna be another 40 all of a sudden you're a hundred bucks in like minimum to go to a dinner and a movie so that does seem like it's getting a little crazy you'd have a family going to the movies it's gonna be at least a hundred bucks to take a family to the movies and I'm not talking 3d 3d is even crazier so uh, yeah, it does seem like it's becoming a little bit more of an entertainment experience than just going to the movies. So I I don't know what that's gonna mean for the for like the revenue. Maybe they have less people go, but they are charging for a premium experience, and and therefore they're able to offset the the lower uh, I guess amount of people that are there. Uh, I, I don't I highly doubt that they just completely die though, dude. That, to me, is is a little bit more hard to believe. You know, you use the restaurant industry as an example. You can cook at home. I, I promise you, 95% of the time, what I can make at home is going to be healthier and taste better than what I'm going to be able to go and get at a restaurant. Of course, there's 5% of the time where those guys know what they're doing, and it does taste good, and, you know, you really want those chicken tenders and that, that buffalo uh, medium sauce. I'm telling you, it's good. But... You still go out. You still go out to eat. You know what I mean. People still go to fancy restaurants. They still spend more money than they should on on sushi and stuff. So it happens, man. It happens. Ah, oh, let's see. Did I hear a wheeze there, Moji? I hope not, because I am I am going great. Looking forward to your news and stuff. Ah, uh, aim Nico. Thank you. Liberty, Missouri. A BNB theater tickets are twenty seven fifty a ticket. If you do a forty experience, forty seven. Whoa, what? Twenty seven fifty a ticket for what? Who the heck cares if it, dude? Who the heck cares if it gives you a massage too? Twenty-seven fifty a ticket. Wow, man. Uh so two feek, man. Two feek. Sorry if I got your name wrong. Uh, I don't. I don't have any USTC. I think USTC is going to be too hard to repeg. Okay. I don't know if this plan is necessarily going to work. If it does, you're going to see massive gains in USTC. You're going to make twenty, thirty extra money. So you got to keep that in mind, man, that, that if this plan is successful, you're going to make a lot of money in USTC, but because I believe it, the, the reputation is damaged and because I believe it's going to be too hard to get centralized exchanges on board, I highly, highly doubt that they're going to be able to repay USTC. That's just my, my opinion on it. Uh, let's see. J Bones. Hello. I tell you, Clay, we will see fireworks with Lunk due to CZ. I hope so, Smushy. That would be amazing. Uh, simple as this, invest in good audio system, a nice TV, make stuff at home, save hundreds. No, oh, you really will, man. You really will. You don't even need an 85-inch screen TV or anything like that. Get yourself a little sound bar, a couple hundred bucks. Get a nice TV, yes. And, uh, dude, eating at home, that's where it's at. It really is, man. You, you guys, learn to cook. It's actually enjoyable. I think Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO Max gonna kill AMC like Netflix killed Blockbuster. I think it just happened. Yeah, no, Giovanni. So it is it is a possibility, right? But that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know if it's necessarily going to kill it. So Blockbuster couldn't really compete. But you still have movies at like a red box that you can go rent. So the brick and mortar idea was a little bit much, but Blockbuster wasn't an experience. 
going to the movies is is still a date, right? It's still a night out. And dude, I I don't know you you're not. I don't know if you're gonna find. Uh, listen, there's very few girls in here, right? Like, I don't know if you're gonna find a girl that's like, yes, let's just go on a date to your place. They are going to want to go out. It's just their it's their nature. I don't know. They have to go out. So. They're going to single-handedly keep AMC in business, even if it means a lot of them shut down and it's more of a premium experience than what it currently is. It is that experience of going out. Oh, 40 tickets. Chairs that move and shake and blow air. And get 4D? What the heck is 4D, man? That's actually like a thing. They have that. At the end of the movie, your back hurts. You're shaking like a salt shaker. Dang, John Jay, man. They really mess with you on that one, don't they? John Jay. Yeah, dude. John Jay. John Jay is one of those screamers. John Jay is the screamer, dude. He goes into the movie and, he, you know, the building's rumbling, so his chair starts to shake. Ah! He's, he's freaking out during the movie. Yeah, John Jay, you can't go to any more 4D movies, man. It's not. You can't have it. Can't go anymore. Yes, so all the green love for all. Heck yeah. Thank you. Hope uh, your life will be all green love. Tufik, man. The same for you. Very nice, dude. I hope the same for you. Too many bots. Depressed Titan. There's bots all over the place. John. Caps lock. Broken still. Must be. Oh, Clay playing with fire. Dark bro. Am I? I don't even know what I said. I don't want to play with fire, man. Uh, you get luckier with a date. If you watch a movie at home on a Netflix on a first date, we know what Netflix means, right? <laughs> Giovanni. Oh, boy. Clay, you ever lose your phone? No, but I've had my phone stolen. I've had my phone stolen. Twice. I've never lost it, though. I had my phone ripped out, of, ripped out of my hands twice. But never lost. Uh, you buy a Shiba depressed guy. Who, man? Me? I don't want to, I don't want to buy a Shiba right now. Shoop is on its way down right now. I don't want to buy it when it's on its way down. Redbox isn't perfect either. I usually forget to bring it back the next day. So I end up paying two or three days of rental. <laughs> yeah, they'll get you on that. Roll that wheel. They'll get you on that. You got to get you got to get T-Mobile Tuesday, dude. If you get T-Mobile, get your free Redboxes from T-Mobile Tuesday or sign up for the free, free coupons. They'll email you every once in a while when they want to tell you they miss you. And then you get a free Redbox. That's what you got to do. Uh, say about Shiba Inu, depressed, uh, app by Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu is the next crypto, bro, say something on Wolf, <laughs> what do you mean to say, Wolf, I, I've done a, I've talked about Wolf in a video, Wolf is, Wolf is, what is Wolf again, Wolf's gonna be, gonna be building on Shibarium, right, was it a decentralized exchange building on Shibarium or something, I, now I forget what Wolf is, building on Shibarium, uh, but Shiba Inu coin, we talk about Shiba Inu coin all the time, man. What do you want to talk about it? One of the few places to go out to are the bars, restaurants, and movie theaters, which now serve food. Joseph, you are correct on that, man. Uh, you can have dinner and drinks at uh, the theater now. It is awesome. Is it good? Is it like, I've never had, uh, I've never had dinner at the theater. Is it good? Like that, I, I would, I, be honest. Because I feel like with how close restaurants are to movie theaters, you could literally just go to the, the restaurant and then go to the movie theater. So I want to know if it's good or if it's kind of like, uh, you know, you go to Cedar Point or something, you go to an amusement park and you, you get some chicken tenders and you're like, yeah, the chicken tenders, but this is, you can tell this is not a wing place. With Netflix, you can figure out what kind of girl your date is. If she is more into girl power movies, just smash and leave the date within a week. Well, this is true. You got a very, you got a very large selection, and you can tell pretty quickly. Rule that wheel. I like his strategy, man. About a girl that said we could just uh, go to your place as a date. Best girl ever. Netflix and chill. Tim. And that saves a lot of money on movie tickets. Well, if you liked it, you should have put a ring on it. Facts on that, Pat. Facts on that. Through a little slip out of the dark. <laughs> this is crazy. It's a building Shibarium. It's or it's building Shibarium is a wolf. Period. 
Wolf is a bone. What? Wolf is a bone that goes with a leash and you use them to walk your Shiba Inu. That's what I'm told anyway. Probably by a liar. <laughs> nope, it's probably by a truther, man. It's probably by a truther. And uh, did you get? Did you talk about a treat there? You forgot. You forgot to give your dog a treat too. You got to give your dog a treat. Uh, Tubi is what's. Uh, yeah, Pat, that's correct. You get, I can't believe I'm I'm dogging on Tubi over here. I gotta, I gotta give Tubi some more credit. Same guy that said Mo S tomorrow, J Bones. Uh, you need a new guy. I got a guy. We do need a new guy. TRX, ALDA, Algorand, Dent. Uh, need some comments. All in a loss. Depressed I Titan. I, I, depressed Ishin? I don't even know how to say your name. Depressed. Yeah, everything's in a loss right now, depending on when you got it. If I, I assume if you didn't get it in the last, like, three weeks, then you are probably sitting on a loss. Um, that's just market wide. So I don't think that that's necessarily in like exclusive to those things that you just listed there, but it's, you, we got to wait for the whole market to rebound, man. Your stocks too. It, it's not like your stocks aren't going to be down stocks that you would have bought in the last two years. They're down. It, it's just a very, very bad market altogether right now. I think everyone should experience it one time, then never again. I think I might be missing something. The UFOs are here to see a Gary and look for SBF, S. Rodriguez. Hopefully they find him and they abduct him and they're good to go. Yeah, you said treat. Yes, Rich. Yes, Rich. It was a red box and chill. <laughs> We're that old. <laughs> Oh god, dude! I still rent red boxes when they're free, man. I still rent red boxes when they're free. Actually, movie theater food is surprisingly good. Good. See that? I did not know. I, I actually would have been afraid to try it because I would have just figured it's more like uh, like an amusement park, dude. You get some food. It's a little bit overpriced, and you can just go to a restaurant and enjoy it. Let's sky stone and fly. <laughs> Thank you very much for the most time. Skystone if I thank you Skystone if I man thank you very much for the mustache absolutely appreciate that man uh, and this one I did not miss Elon posted funny text everyone don't panic they're just visiting my friends yeah I did see that John Jay that that was pretty funny somebody come load this chipper for me I'm getting too old for this stuff Skystone if I I'll be right over it's probably only gonna take me two or three days SEC gonna go after a stable coin doesn't mean the doesn't meet the four criteria how is that a security a big banks mad they can't pay the higher interest on the money yeah Chris see so that I agree with um and that is one of the reasons i believe that what they are doing right now is testing their boundaries they are purposefully overstepping what they're allowed to do and overreaching in hopes that these cryptocurrency exchanges are so beat down right now because of this bear market that they're not going to stand up against them and kraken didn't really stand up against them kraken just settled coinbase has stated that coinbase will you know, have no problem defending their stuff uh, in litigation. So we're going to see how it plays out, man. But I think that the SEC right now is testing their boundaries, testing their limits, and overreaching until they're told no. That's my thoughts. Uh, I'm going to go big on the streets. No, don't big on the streets. AMC Trapper, peace out of the Diamond Handed Apes. Means you guys know what time it is. Get your name in the chat. We'll do these shout outs after I say Cyber Report sucks. Stay positive, bro, fam. Richo, man, you stay positive as well. I don't know what kind of cyber reports you got going on, but hopefully they don't take up too much of your time and hopefully they go a lot smoother than what they're going already. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. On that note, here's the pre med on Netflixing, you bunch of flixers. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I'll drink to it, man. We got a little authorized hydration, Pat. Thank you. For the super chat. Absolutely appreciate that, man. Guys, get your names in the chat right now. Let's do these. Let's do these shout outs, you a bunch of flixers. And then we're going to be back tonight with videos at 7 p.m., videos at 8 p.m. 
Hopefully you guys watch those two, three, four times each. Views are low, you guys know it. But shout out to Sky Stonify, Depressed, see you later, Giovanni, AMC Trap, you're saying peace out of the Diamond Handed Apes. We've got Richo, we've got Pat, man, Kalani, oi, oi, eh, eh. Old Rounder, Richo, Ronald, man, the franchise, peace out to you. Moji, have a great evening as well. And congratulations on that hole in one, Moji. That is not easy to do. My goodness, dude, you can't even hit a hole in one and putt putt. I don't know how the heck you do it on an actual goal of course. Aiden, see you later, man. J-Bones, never ignore. Rich, take care to you. Kenneth, enjoy your day. What have I missed? You've missed it all. Kenneth, you've missed it all. Sky Stonify, man. Peace out. Giovanni, see you later. Dark Bro, enjoy your day. Depressed Titan, er, depressed Titan, Aishin, depressed. Enjoy your day, man. No longer be depressed. Tomorrow, it'll be happy, Aishin. Uh, Rich, oh, see you later. Frank, man, see you later. Depressed, Kenneth, Moji, Rich, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. New photo pool to a Until the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. John Jay! Very close, John Jay. Thank you very much for the super chat. John Jay says, I don't want to be... I don't want to be a fool. Oh, I don't... Gosh, how does this go? I don't want to be a fool for you. Just another player in your game. Gosh, how, how does the end sync go? I don't know if this is how it goes or not, but I don't want to be a fool. No, I don't want to be a fool for you. Just another player in your game for two. You may hate me, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, 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 bye. John Jay. I don't want to be a fool for you. Just another player in your game for two. You may hate me, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, 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 bye. I think I got it, John Jay. The end sync was not as good as the Backstreet Boys. Hopefully I did. I don't know, man. John Jay, appreciate you, man. Absolutely. Very good way to end the stream there. My, uh, I, I need to brush up on my NSYNC, dude. Rich, to see you tomorrow. Tim, AMC Trapper. Frank, Pat, we've got AMC Trapper. Rich, John Jay, perfectly terrible and absolutely incredible. John Jay, man, appreciate you, dude. All of you guys, you know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.